Hello, <laughs> welcome back to your favorite episode of your favorite podcast with your favorite guy, Whitney Cummings. How are you? I'm uh, I'm back again another week of doing what I love to do. Um, uh, follow me everywhere, social medias, uh, YouTube. Haven't posted videos on there because I've been having camera problems. I've still been posting the audios though. Don't worry, we're gonna get past this. This is just, it's just a little, a little hump in the road, man. You don't, you can't let that discourage you. It's just a little hump in the road. As long as you just make it through it, and we get past that, we can make it. We can just, we can just get through it. You know, we just need to get through it. Once I get over this hump of people not, um, uh, excuse me, um, what am I saying? Once we get over this hump of, of videos fucking up and things fucking up, uh, we'll be good to go, you know? We'll be good to go. And that's what I'm trying to, um... And that's what we're trying to do, man. We're trying to be good to go. I'm trying to be good and move on from this. Because I'm tired of... I just want to post the videos, man. That's all I want to do. Get the videos out there. Post the videos. And y'all can think whatever y'all want about them. And whenever I start this podcast, you just ramble until you get something going. And then you're in there. Are we there yet? Let's. We'll see. I'm falling victim to, um, like, I like to think of it as old man syndrome, where I'm talking to people just a smidge younger than me, not even super young, you know? I won't say it to kids super young, because they're children, they probably won't even know what I'm talking about, but whenever someone asks me, uh... Whenever someone someone says something like uh whenever whenever something like a song comes on or a show is a show comes on uh or just you know we talking about a show or something and somebody says what show is that and they're just a little bit younger than me I'm already I already got it's like a gun bro I just ch- ch- You don't know about this <laughs> You don't know. You don't know about that. Yo, you're too young to know about. Like, they're just a smidge younger than me. And we're basically, basically, I'm in the same era as everybody born right now around my age group. People that are even up to 18 years old. People already. Like, people have been in the same lifetime I've lived. And I'm already like, yo, you don't know nothing about that. When they obviously do. And that is an issue. I don't, why do I think I'm so old? I feel like I just think, I feel like I'm just so old. You know? Because time's moving, man, and it keeps going. And all I do is get older and older. And that's the goal is to hopefully have something to show for it when you're older. But, um, yeah, I'm following too many people, and not, and not enough people are following me. Okay? That's an issue. That's an issue. What's up with all these fucking, these these women ads? Oh, you want to have sex? And they always highlight sex. It's like, ooh, oh, wow. You're a hot single in my area? 
Shit's so stupid. Why why even send it? You know no one's going to fall for it. Hopefully not send it to kids. They might fall for it. That's... I don't even want to think about that. But that's ridiculous. The fact that they're even sending it is ridiculous. But yeah, man. I'm an old man at tw- at the ripe age of 26 years old, man. I'm just so... I'm just so elderly already. A co-worker of mine didn't know who the fuck Arnold Schwarzenegger was. <laughs> Did I say that right? They didn't know who Arnold Schwarzenegger was, bro. And I said, and that's why I think, that's why I'm like, you don't know nothing about that, you know? I'm always like, you don't know nothing about that. Because how who the fuck doesn't know Arnold Schwarzenegger, bro? I wonder if, I wonder if, I need to ask children if they know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is. How do you not know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is? That man was the governor of California. But nobody knows him from that. You know him from Terminator, right? She didn't even know what Terminator was. I said, you know from Terminator? Oh, the black guy? What black guy is named Arnold and Schwarzenegger? Arnold and Schwarzenegger, bro. Enough. That's, that's absolute, that's blasphemy, honestly. That's absolute blasphemy. How the fuck do you not know who the fuck that guy is? That's fuck, that's insane. Anyway, we gotta take him to, uh, we gotta take him to, um, gotta take him to see the movie. Movies are showing old movies now. Like, they're showing, we're, I think we're running out of movies. Everything, like games, all games are being remastered. And then they have the fucking, they have the fucking gall to make me pay sixty nine ninety nine when I've been paying fifty nine ninety nine my whole life. Inflation is affecting everything. You know what? I won't get that game. I might still get that game. But yeah, every everybody's everybody they're remastering everything. They're putting old movies back in the movie theater. So I mean, that's the best way to experience it, you know, but also like it was over and done with. Why why are we putting it back in there? That's crazy. And then all every, everybody's remaking shit. Like, oh my god, stop remaking stuff. Just make new stuff. Is there new movies even coming out anymore? What's the next new... Let me Google that. What's the next new movie coming out? New movies that aren't politically charged. Everything's politically charged. Fucking 45 of... 45 Doctor Stranges, okay. Love and Gelato? Gelato? Love and Gelato? Is this Nick Cage? Is that Nick Cage? Nick Cage has been on a movie rampage, bro. Watcher, I think that's a new movie. Maybe I'm just I'm just being annoying. Spiderhead. I'm just being annoying. If you think about it, man, every movie's the goddamn same. Father Stew. I never saw that one. Halftime? What's this? Is that a halftime show? Is it is it a Netflix series over a halftime show? Way Wayward? If you think about it, everything is fucking, uh, what was I saying? It's all remade, man. Movies have the same plots, the same plots, and the same structures. Movies always have the same structure, man. Okay, rom-com. What's the structure of a rom-com? Oh, two guy and girl, if you're heterosexual. I haven't seen a lesbian one yet. Netflix, get on that, okay? Netflix is always on that. If you see two, if you see two of the same gender in a Netflix movie, they're gonna they're gonna fuck. Netflix o- like only only has uh only had no but no one's heterosexual on in Netflix movies anymore. There's never gonna be there's never heterosexual people in there. If you see two people together, if you see two of the same gender together, they're gonna fuck. 
Anyway, rom-com structure, movie structure. If it's heterosexual, guy, guy, me, guy goes to a place, okay? And half of the time, all movies are fucking fake, right? Because you see a cute girl at a, at a coffee shop. You're probably, I mean, if you, unless you go often, you you can. But if you if you're just at a coffee shop one time, uh, and you see somebody cute, you're not gonna go up and talk to her unless you really want to. Or, and you're never gonna see her again after after that. You're gonna look at her, sip your coffee, leave. Guess what? Gone. And usually, maybe if there's a lot of coffee shops in your area, you might never see her ever again. You know. She might be from out of town. But, you know, be optimistic. Be optimistic. Oh, wow, there's more movies. There's so many movies, bro. The Northman, I want to see that. Okay. So, romantic romantic uh, rom-com movie structure, right? Guy guy sees a girl. They go up to each... Uh, they... they um, guy sees a girl. He... Uh, they blow it off the first time. Second time he sees her, he goes up to... St- Goes up to talk to her. Fucking something, something splashes on his shirt. He walks in this, walks into the waiter and throws all the shit in the air. And then she sees that and he's like, "Oh wow, that's embarrassing." And then time goes on. They see each other again. And they're like, "Wow, you're the guy from the coffee shop that bumped into the waiter, aren't you?" And he's like, "Yeah, you, <laughs> you know me. I don't know you. I want to get to know you though." And then they start getting to know each other. Then, you know, a long time of getting to know each other, a lot of rom-com shit happens, a lot of comedy, blah, 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 ha, 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 you know? And then, and then something happens for them to be like, I don't want to be with you anymore. And he's like, fine then, I don't want to be with you either. And then they go off their separate ways, and then something, he watches a movie or some encounter with someone else makes him miss her and go back to her. As usual. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. We broke up for such a stupid reason. And he's like, yeah, we'll never break up again. And then it's happily ever after. They're going to break up again, pro- probably. If it's if it's toxic, toxic, they're probably going to break up again. But every fucking, every, every goddamn rom-com movie is, uh, is, um, you know. Did all the same. It's all the same shit. You know? It's all the same shit. Over and over. Back to back. Every movie has the same structure. Fucking, um... Action movies? Amen. The, the only one structure is someone's getting shot. If no one gets shot, it's not an action movie. But if someone gets shot, someone gets blown up, the the lieutenant of some shit has to get blown up, then um, yeah, you got a you got an action movie. Action movie is just it's all they're all the same. They're all the same. Everybody gets blown up. Um, there's a big fight scene at the end, like fucking Expendables. They make seven of seven Expendables. Is there only three? I think people got tired of it by the third one. So good for that, you know. Absolutely redonkulous. How many fucking... It's absolutely redonkulous how many goddamn fucking uh, action movies and expendables there are. Enough. You know? Enough. Fireheart? That looks good. Chicken Hair? What's that? Apollo Ten and a Half? Adult Animation? What the heck? What's that? What's that? Adult animation? That sounds like a fucking... A space age. What's it called? Adult animation. Actually, the animation style looks cool. It's like... It's like the cartoon... Like the cartoonify feature you put on... uh, The cartoonify feature you put on... um, On like an Instagram filter or something. Fistful of Vengeance. Is that Ong Bak? What's that guy's name? It's Ty, right? Yes, yeah, that guy, bro. It's that guy. Yeah, that guy, bro. So good at fighting. It's ridiculous how good at fighting he is. 
But yeah, wow. And Apollo Apollo ten and a half looks absolutely sick. It's like uh They just put an Instagram filter over it, but it looks cool. Just the art style. I don't know if it's gonna be good though. It's gonna be on Netflix too. Is that kid? Mission. Is that Zachary oh, Levi? We accidentally built the lunar module. Hilarious. A little too small. How'd that happen? Listen, are you good at math? Yeah. Do you get a perfect 100 on every test? No. Okay. <laughs> we need a kid like you to test this accidentally smaller version on the lunar surface and soon. Stan, you're our only hope. Okay. Great. Let's forget about all this for now. We'll... I accidentally pressed that, but yeah, that looks like a kid's movie, and it looks like it's it's not going to be that bad, you know? They're all, they're all pretty good. Now I got to write that down because I fucking played it. I could edit it out, but then I'll miss all, everything I said beforehand. Um, Apollo 10 and a half trailer video. Video. Always gotta write shit down so you don't forget. Was it? What's the saying? A long, a uh, a short pencil beats a long memory. Oh my god! This is why I'm an old man, bro. This is why I'm an old man because I always remember. I remember all this bullshit. I remember all these old sayings. And people are like, "Oh my god, you all know all these old sayings," and it got me this far, man. It got me this far. Oh, this is already on there. And it got a 7.3? Hmm. Let's check it out. Let me check it out. I'm going to check it out. All right. And I also want to see the Northman. Northman's two hours flat. Two hours and 17 minutes. The Northman got a 7.2. It didn't do too good in... In the movies, though, because nobody goes to the movies anymore. Robert Ergen's 2022 film, The Northman, despite its star-studded cast and visual beauty, suffered the box office failure upon release. Though this could still lead to a promising future for a follow-up film. What? So it did terribly, but they're looking to do a two? Anyway, I want to see The Northman. It looks, uh, looks like it's going to be cool. Came out during my birthday, but I was at that I was at that David Brown concert, so couldn't uh couldn't go. Sorry. Um, but yeah, man. Enough about frunkin' movies, bro. Speaking of movies, I was near the AMC. Uh, I was near the AMC near my house, and they. I was in the car, like, because I was, it was, it's a whole mall complex thing. So I was at the AMC, and then I went to the mall and shopped for stuff. But I was near the AMC entrance. And I came, I was, I came out, and I was, like, making my Father's Day gift. I went on Father's Day. I was making my Father's Day gift in the car, you know? I was making it in the car. And, um, I was making it in the car, and I seen it. I see. I saw a guy like in the corner of my eye. I saw him in the corner of my eye, and he was like, like doing something, going like, like, and he had a fitted. He had a fitted on and like some polo. Yo, dudes are so corny, bro. Dudes are so corny. Like, what? Like, honestly. Don't wear hats. Don't wear fitteds with polos. It's so corny. And his polo was a bright color. He had a bright color polo with a fitted on. With that straight ass cap. That shit is so straight. It pisses me off. It's not even good. It's so straight it's not even good. Anyway. Yeah. Um fucking he's over there posing with his fitted on with a straight ass brim um like going like that and stuff and then i'm like i see so much movement in the corner of my eye i'm like w what is this and i look and he like looks at me and he gets all weird and stuff and then and then i look again and he 
is um he looks at me again and goes yo what's what's good <laughs> he goes like yo what's good i'm like what's good bro and then i look out the window and i i look further out like i lean forward to see more out the window and his his wife or girlfriend or baby mother is there taking pictures for him and his child is holding his child bro He's taking pictures and his girlfriend or whatever is holding his child and her child. Well, who knows nowadays? Maybe it's not it's not it's not even his child. Whatever. Anyway, taking a picture with taking a, like taking a video or a picture or whatever. And he's like posing and stuff, bro. And that just sh- oh, my God, bro. Dads are so corny. That is the corniest shit ever. Once I have a child, bro, I'm never taking another picture in my life. I already hate taking pictures, bro. You have to catch me off guard to take a picture. I hate pictures. But guess what? When I have a kid, I'm not I'm never going to I'm never going to take a picture ever again in my life. You'll never see me in a picture unless it's a family photo. So, I revoke my statement. You're not going to see me in a picture unless it's a goddamn family photo. All the all the pictures where I'm like, like by myself, like posing with niggas and stuff. Nah, I'm a father now. I'm not gonna do that dumb that dumb child shit. That's some childish ass shit, bro. That's so childish. I'm never gonna fucking. I'm never taking a, another another cool photo ever again, bro. He's trying to be cool when you got a son. Nah. Kids are yo. Kids make you seem so corny, bro. I see so many dads. I see so many dads like just fumbling around with the stroller and stuff, and they're probably happy. But me looking from the outside in, looking from the outside in, bro, it, I see them carrying their strollers around and, ru- and running around with their strollers and like. And their wife's like, "Oh, can you, uh, honey? I'm gonna go get this really quick." And he's like, "Yeah, I got you, babe." And it's like. It's everything, everything, kids, kids make, make guys seem so corny. They're so corny. Um, and I, I am, I will combat that. I will combat my corniness when I have a child. There will be no more corniness. I will be taking a picture only in family photos. I'm never taking a picture with like my friends or anything. Cause that's dumb. You look dumb. You have a child now. You look stupid if you do anything else. I gotta cut that out. Quasia was messing me up. Messing me up. There's so many reasons not to have a child, bro. And I guess reason number one is because it looks corny, you know? It lo- You look so corny if you have a kid, bro. I mean, on the guy side, as a guy, you look so corny with a kid. You fumble around with your baby bag and grabbing like, oh, did you forget the milk? Oh, I forgot the milk, honey. I'm so sorry. Everything about everything about being a dad from the outside in looks so corny. You know, babies bring that bring babies bring that out of you. They bring that corny shit out of you. It's not even your fault. Dads, I don't even blame you, man. But you got to carry that baby bag around. You got to roll that stroller around. And babies make you fat, too. Everybody, every every dad, you cannot not, you cannot um, resist the gut. You can't resist the gut when you have a kid. When you have a kid, you all you do is have gut, uh, have a gut, man. Cause what are you doing? You probably eating. You probably you probably don't have time to eat right, or you're not making time to eat right, and that's okay. You know, the kid made gave you the gut, and that's the that's the that's the drawbacks to having a kid. You know, you get a, you you have a kid, you get a gut. It's like it's like honestly, that's that's the way it happens, bro. I'm telling you right now, uh, bro. I'm working. I feel I'm. Uh, I'm making the promise to myself. Whenever my kid is being, you know, being grown, 
I'm working out even harder, bro. I'm going to work out even harder because I'm not getting that dad gut. I cannot. There's nothing sexy about that. It's so gross. Guts are so gross, bro. It makes you seem so old. You have to combat the old. Combat the elderly. That sounds like a cool, like, comedy comedy action movie. Combat the elderly. But you have to combat the elderly. You fight that shit. You have a, you have a child. You're already getting old. You had a child. You combat that. You keep, keep your stomach really flat. As flat as humanly possible. And you cook every meal. Don't go to Mickey D's. Don't. And if your kids want Mickey D's, you give them the Mickey D's. And you also tell them no to the Mickey D's sometimes. I sound like a dad already. I'm telling, I'm telling, I sound so preachy. It's okay, though. It's all right. I'm looking from the outside in. So this, this is, I'm telling fathers with kids out there what to do. But I'm telling, I'm actually telling people that don't have kids what to do. You, you step that work up, you step that workout up when you, when your kid is being grown in your wife's body. Because the gut, once, once you, once you bust in her, the gut is forming already. You go, ugh, ugh. Uh, you have a gut. Your gut is is slowly forming right as you right at right after you nut. I'm sorry to tell you. You know, what was I talking about? Reasons to not have a kid. What other reasons are there? You know, people say financially, like. I mean, diapers are getting expensive. Inflation. There's no more baby formula. That's another reason. There's no more f- baby formula. <laughs> there's a joke that someone said. If there's a baby formula showed- shortage, why am I filled with so much cum? <laughs> uh, that is such a stupid joke. It's all stupid. It's all dumb, bro. But yeah, deadbeats out there, bro. That guy, that guy that was taking pictures and posing and stuff, he had his son by his side, though. And and we, we always condone everybody keeping your son by your side. We don't respect deadbeats out here, man. I don't respect any type of deadbeat. A man takes his responsibility. And you take care of that kid. And you love it. And you, um, you know what? You don't even have to love it. Just take up responsibility. You look at responsibility. You look at it as a responsibility. You don't have to like it. It's hard to like a baby. There was I went to my girlfriend went and met her friend because she's having a baby and she's studying to be you know be a doula and uh and the kid was so frunking annoying. My God, he stood over. I mean, he was cute. I've, kids are cute, you know. Kids are nice, you know. He was in the stages. He was in that that uh, two to four uh, uh, that two to four range of age, and he was he was cute. He was nice, and he liked me more, you know. Like every any time my girlfriend tried to tried to say what's up or say what's good, uh, he didn't um he didn't respond. But when I put my fist out, he put my he hit my fist. And it was cool. But this kid, bro, he was so annoying, bro. He wa- he ran around. He was running around and he would uh um he kicked another uh, he kicked a customer. That's crazy, bro. I just I need to ask my parents how I was cuz that's crazy to me. Kicking a customer? Bro. She gave him a little tap tap on the booty. With me, bro, I th- I think I think it was a I had to go he said you need to go we're going to the bathroom. And you know nothing good when you're a child, when you're a child, nothing good happens in the bathroom when you have to pee, when you have to um 
when you have to do anything, like you can pee, like you don't know how to aim, like you doodle on yourself because you can't get there fast enough, and then your parents take you in the bathroom to say, uh, you know, when they say, oh, why are you kicking customers? And also, I'm going to give you something to cry about when you're already crying. That is the stupidest. Honestly, that's the stupidest thing. I'm going to give you something to cry about because you're getting mad that I'm crying. Here, I'm going to slap you and you cry. I'm going to slap you because you're crying. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. Sometimes, sometimes the parents go to the bathroom and they say, I'm going to give you something to cry about. They take them to the bathroom and then they come out and they actually stop crying. I'm like, huh, what, my parents know that? I guess my parents don't know that. I think I was a badass kid, though. I, I Now that I'm thinking about that, bro, I'm thinking about when I went to church, I had to go into the bathroom and get spanked. Yeah, I had to go to the bathroom and get spanked. I don't remember what I did. I don't know if it was my grandma or my mother, but I guess I deserved it, you know? You don't... Kids are so goddamn annoying. You know what? I just, I'm, I just think, yo, you know what? I deserved it. I guess I deserved it. I should put a, I'm gonna put a baby photo of me, and then you tell me if I'm annoying. Not even baby, toddler photo, toddler. Toddler photo of me. And I'll put it up and you tell me, you tell me if I'm annoying, you know? If you get really good, you can tell what type of kid is annoying, you know? If you look at their face, sometimes their name, Gerald, Gerald is, Gerald could be a kind of annoying name though. Gerald sounds annoying. Or, um, Archibald. Archibald is so annoying, bro. Even just the the name leaving your lips is annoying. Archibald. How many Archibalds are in there in the world? Let's look that up. (laughs) Archibald. Archibald name meaning? Archibald is a masculine given name composed of Germanic elements, urchan, which an er origin meaning of genuine, precious, or bald or bold. Bald bold? What's bald bold? Is Archibald a good name? The name Archibald is a boy's name of Spanish origin, meaning truly brave. The short form Archie. Oh, yeah, Archie. Art Archibald is short for Archie. Yeah, just be Archie. Archie is so open and friendly and very trendy in British. Of course it's British. Of course it's British, bro. British people, bro. There's nothing, there's nothing hard about British people. They can talk all the mess they want, bro, but they are not hard, bro. Archibald. Is Archibald a Scottish name? Archibald is Scottish. Look, we don't fucking know. We don't know the real we don't know the real reasons of anything. Yeah, man, Archibald. So apparently Archibald is a good name to give your children. Does it sound nice leaving your lips though? Not really. Gerald? Gerald's a little I guess it's a little sexy. How sexy is <laughs> Sexiest names. Sexiest names to moan. What are the best names to moan? You must be... Yes, I am. But I have to sign in, right? Oh, no. Okay. Leroy Jenkins. What are some of the best male names to moan out during sex? Leroy Jenkins. Wow. Speedwagon. Dio. Speedwagon. Why people keep saying Speedwagon? Um, oh, this is Reddit? Oh, this is Ask Reddit. Um, this is a seriously a serious question. Oh, Gaylord. 
Oh, Gaylord. Michael? Is Michael sexy? You can say this as well. Dad, I finished. Oh, my God, no. Chris? Actually, Chris is a pretty hot a pretty hot name, yeah. Vadim? Who's Vadim? Vadim Blatata. <laughs> Joe Biden! Joe, oh, Joe Biden. <laughs> That's what Joe Biden's wife's saying to him, bro. At night. Oh, my God, Joe. Oh, Joe Biden. Sean or Con. Sean? Sean is kind of... Jesus? <laughs> I mean, for religious reasons, no, it is not good to say. It's not a good name. It's not a... Um, wait, this is sexy names, right? The best sexy names. I guess Jesus is the sexiest name you could say, but also not the not a name you can say because you... Um, you know, it's kind of... I don't know if it's blasphemous. Is it, like, what level do I need to be on for women to say Jesus? The women never said Jesus to me. Jesus. Imagine being so good that women say... Women call out a religion, call out a, a religious figure. Oh, Muhammad... Danny DeVito. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Danny DeVito. Prince Philip. Hilarious. Bob Saget. That's not sexy. <laughs> no one's answering truthfully anymore. Clarkson. Trump daddy. <laughs> All right. All right. We went through the whole list. All right. Some of them. Some of them. Leroy Jenkins. Who the fuck is Leroy Jenkins again? Who the fuck is Leroy Jenkins? Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. HD. When what does it mean when someone says Leroy Jenkins? Leroy Jenkins is a gamer slang for a person or thing that causes everything to go wrong for everyone else. Usually in some extraordinary fashion. Hilarious, bro. There's a lot of Leroy Jenkins out here. The character became popular in 2005 from his role in a viral video of game footage where having been absent during his group's discussion of... of a plan, Leroy returns and ruins it by charging straight into combat while shouting his own name as a battle cry. Hill Frunken Larius, bro. And that's not what you want to be famous for, you know? Leroy Jenkins! <laughs> Especially, of course that's on Reddit. I wouldn't even know. But of course that's on Reddit. Because all that's on Reddit is fucking gamers, man. <laughs> At least that's what I think. I think it's just gamers on there, you know? That's the sad that's the sad matter of the fact of the fact of the matter. It's toxic, man. It's toxic how that's the fact of the matter of the situation of the matter. Yeah. Well. Um give me one second, please. All right, we're back. My brother thought my cat was outside, but the cat's right here. Whatever. But yeah, uh, little TJ's in jail. I said, I said, uh, excuse me. I said that um, what's his name was in jail. Um, young thug and Gunner was in jail because that's old news. Now little no, little TJ's in the hospital for getting shot. How sad. Uh, why can't, like, like, there's only a very minute amount of rappers that get 
that can rap their whole career and not get shot. Like, no one's shooting at, um, no one's going to shoot at uh, Childish Gambino because he's not that type of rapper. But it's these rappers that are in the game, in the rap game, and then they come back to spend time with the homies. Hey, man, you got to weed out who the homies are and the homies are not, you know? And sometimes, sometimes it's always, un- it's, sometimes it's always, sometimes it's always, no. Sometimes it's uncalled for and it's just like another guy that's jealous of you. You just got to stop. You just got to not, uh, you just got to not. Just don't go back, you know? Um, what's I looking up? Yeah, little TJ's in the hospital. But you know what? That's going to give him that street cred. Shot multiple times in New Jersey. They also had a Nor... Was it the Norlock shooting? Norlack? I don't know how to say it, but... That shooting. They had somebody on Facebook Live. The fucking bullet zoomed past her head. It's so upsetting, bro. And what was the cause of that? What was the cause of that shooting? No, like shooting. Reason, honestly. Norwalk? Oh, Norwalk. My bad. Norwalk shooting. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were shooting. It was a, it was a shootout with another, with a suspect. It was a shootout with a suspect, and it just turned ugly. A suspect or a couple suspects, cause. Niggas, niggas was really shooting out here, man. It's a sad reality, man. Is crime going up? I think crime's going up, man. And it's upsetting. It's upsetting. Damn. Didn't leave it, mean to leave it on a bad note. I should have like an end game or something. Let me have, let me see. I'm going to start doing like an end game or something, you know? An end game, you know? Podcast games to play. Destiny. God. I'm not going to play Destiny 2. Reduce listener drop off. Break up blocks of content. Help you switch gears. Oh wow. Yeah, well I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna think of something that uh you know maybe extend my pod a little bit, you know, cuz um cuz I, I I you can honestly you can only get 40 minutes out of me. 40 minutes is is long enough. So um Yeah, I'm gonna work on that, but I feel like we had we had a substantial podcast. This is a lot of stuff, man. I I hit on uh Dad's being corny. I hit on uh, little TJ. Sadly, I hit on um, you know I'm an old man. I'm falling. I'm falling victim to being an old man, and uh, yeah, you know that's just that's just how the cookie is gonna crumble on this episode. Um, we appreciate you for coming to another episode, and uh, hope to see you again in another life. And another, and another day, another week, another month, another amount of time. That's normal for everyone that that uh, works works through time. Um, I'm just talking shit now. I'm just my mouth's moving and things are just coming out because I'm ending the podcast. You know they always say good people have a good preacher. A good preacher has four closes. Is it four or three? Three closes. You know, why is everything good come in threes? You know, 666 isn't good, but that comes in threes. Deuces.